everybody, it's Monday on GazWeatherVids.com, so that means it's the European Outlook. Thanks for tuning into our European Outlook. Going to uh, have a look through this video at the weather uh, across the continent during the week here. Now, before I get on with the uh, video, I just want to talk about the advertising. That will usually be a video about overlaying my weather videos at GazWeatherVids.com. Please play those videos because you'll be supporting GazWeatherVids.com if you do that. So, what we're looking at here is the weather map for uh, Europe for today, Monday the 18th of June. And we're looking at these areas of low pressure up to the northwest British Isles, shallow areas of low pressure around British Isles, Ireland, and up in towards Scandinavia. So it's quite unsettled scene in the northwest. But for the east, we've got this area of high pressure, and that high pressure really extends now through the Mediterranean. So really, for the southern and eastern parts of Europe, things have finally started to settle down a bit and it's also warmed up a lot as well. We've got a lot of hot air extending up in towards the central and eastern parts of the continent at the moment. So have a look at the upper air temperatures across the uh, continent uh, today and we've got some very hot air there through uh, much of uh, Spain and that heat extends on in towards the uh, central basin of the Mediterranean on in towards Italy and then down in towards the Balkans, Greece and Turkey and very hot air, uh, upper air there and the heat then extends northwards in towards Germany and then on in towards Poland and uh, Ukraine as well where we've got the football going on of course, we've got some very high temperatures there, some very hot air through many of these central and eastern parts of the continent. The cool weather is really still around the northwest Europe, around, fortunately for us in Britain, around Britain and into Ireland, and then up in towards the Scandinavia. We've still got the very cool air up in the northwest. But for central, southern, and eastern parts of the continent, the continent has really warmed up now. The air is much hotter. So it's still unsettled up in the northwest of the uh, continent, so around uh, southern Scandinavia, southern Norway, and Sweden. So we've got some uh, rain there, rain extending down in towards. Denmark, it's very heavy rain around Denmark and into central and northern parts of Germany. And then through into the British Isles, of course, where it's always raining, it seems, and uh, around the island as well. We've got, got some showers going on uh, there. We've got some showers over the Pyrenees showing up as well. But really, for much of these uh, southern parts of Mediterranean, things are settling down now. A lot of dry weather through Portugal and uh, central southern Spain. And then much of the Mediterranean dry as well. We're very hot, of course. And then that dry weather and heat extends up into this eastern part of Europe and down into the southeast as well. Now having a look at the convective potential, we have got convective potential there across the central parts uh, of the continent, but uh, I'm not uh, all that sure if it's quite as dramatic as this is shown because I'm not sure the uh, air is uh, uh, suitable really for producing thunder. So have a look at the temperatures, we can see that we've got some very high temperatures there across the central eastern parts of Europe, temperatures well into the 30s, hot across much of uh, Poland and on into Ukraine, so there will be some very hot football players around uh, today and that heat is really extending through much of the Mediterranean, much of the Mediterranean now is quite hot and I say that heat extending north. The northwest is still cool, Britain, Ireland and down in towards northern France still very cool I'm afraid and uh, that's where the unsettled weather is. Going into the middle of the week where we've got high pressure ridging in there across the central parts uh, of the continent and really it's a quite a hot scene there still across much of the uh, Mediterranean. So if we have a look at uh, the upper air temperatures, well we see we've got, still got that heat through the Mediterranean, it's very high temperatures there, it's very hot upper air and again that heat is extending up into these eastern parts. You have the coolest of the weather, again is in the northwest but maybe temperatures have picked up a little bit across the British Isles and parts of Ireland and southern Scandinavia as well. Now for uh, the precipitation, we can see that we have got some thundery showers showing up for France and then up in towards Germany and then possibly into parts of Poland as well. We've got some thundery showers showing up there. Still showery in the northwest, much of the Mediterranean, mainly dry. The convective potential is through the central parts of the continent to through the middle of the week, uh, particularly perhaps focused around parts of uh, Hungary and uh, Austria. But uh, really the convective potential is for the central areas, not much convection in the north and not much through the Mediterranean either. Temperatures, well, maybe temperatures picking up a little bit in this northwestern part, particularly through France, uh, because the temperatures picking up, but really the heat is in the east. Very hot air still there across uh, Poland and Ukraine, so more very hot football players through the middle of the week, and then that heat extends down into this southeastern part of the continent 
as well. Now as we go into the end of the week, we've got another deep area of low pressure developing around the northwest, around the British Isles and Ireland. So I'm afraid we're looking at more very wet weather across Britain and Ireland and in towards these northwestern parts of uh, the continent through the uh, middle of the week. But for central areas, we've got the high pressure bridge again there. So things settling down, if anything, through those central parts. It's still a hot scene across much of the east. Now if we have a look at the upper air temperatures at the end of the week, well very cool around the British Isles and Islands, some very very cool upper air temperatures, very amount of cool upper air, those cool upper air temperatures are feeding in towards France as well, but for central, southern and eastern parts of Europe the heat goes on, so that's where the heat's going to be through the Mediterranean then, and then on into the east and the southeast of Europe. Very unsettled around the northwest, a lot of showers or longer spells of rain, but it's quite a dry picture there through the central parts, high pressure Bridging in, although maybe some thunderstorms around the Alps and down in towards the Balkans. But really, for the central and eastern parts, you have quite a dry picture. The unsettled weather is in the northwest. Uh, convective potential, probably the greatest convective potential around the southeastern area, but I think the air is going to be quite dry, so we probably never realise uh, that convective potential. Temperatures finally for the end of the week, where it's very cool up in the northwest, Britain, Ireland, France, uh, Scandinavia, you can't see it there, Denmark, and much of western uh, Germany. Very, very cool temperatures, but the heat goes on through Mediterranean and then up in towards the east and particularly down into the southeast of Europe. Some high temperatures there, temperatures well into the 30s, uh, possibly up to around 35, 36 degrees. That's going on for 100 Fahrenheit across some parts of uh, Greece. So, some very high temperatures there through the east and the southeast in particular. So that's it for the uh, week ahead for the uh, weather for the week ahead. It is looking like we are going to be seeing. Um, a very unsettled uh, week ahead in the northwest of Europe, but for much of the east and the southeast, the heat will really start to build. Summer is with us through the Mediterranean. That's all for now. Have a good week.